It's a rainy day in Washington. I guess this is your classic Washington weather. But boy, is it beautiful. Sounds good too. guys so it's the next day and we decided that we want to get a move on we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning and we don't want to be late where people have been driving on the road it's gotten a little packed down and it's turned icy so I think today we want to we want to take our time getting down we have some snow chains that are not like super hardcore snow chains I picked them up when I was going into um, Sequoia National Park they were required and I was having a really hard time finding them online and no one in the local area had them in stock anymore. It was just the wrong time of season because it was spring. So I found a place that did rentals and I bought a set of unused chains off of them. So I'm gonna use those to help break the ice as we go down. There's a couple sections that are steep and long and that's my area that I'm, I'm concerned with traction. So we're gonna get packed up and we're gonna, we're gonna head off. And we got really lucky, another absolutely beautiful day. This is the two nicest days we've had in Washington in, I think, almost a month.
I'm jealous. I want to go ride a bike or a four wheeler or a side by side. Awesome trails. Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Good, you? Good. Nice day for a ride. Yeah. You guys yeah. see up another there? Yeah. yeah nice <laughs> you guys got quite the spot. Yeah. yeah, we love it. We gotta get out of here before too much snow shows up, though. Yeah. Bunny hops. Oh, bunny these. hops, yeah. If I can just stagger my wheels, I'll be good. But it gets hard to do with the rocks on the side. This is all good. Yeah, I'm gonna do chains. I'm gonna do chains. Because the worst section is yet to come. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've ever needed the chains out here. We're so happy we have them. We may not need them, but yeah. taking our truck down a hill with icy conditions, I'll take all the traction I can get. We're kind of sad to leave this place. Absolutely beautiful day. It's really, really nice. Perfect day to ride a dirt bike. Pretty slippery. I'm gonna test the brakes real quick. Sure. This section is much more sketchy. Yes, this is the section I was not looking forward to. Right, let him go by. How's the rest of the road? Oh, it's not too bad. A little ice or not bad? You made it up, no change. Oh yeah, no, there's no ice or anything. Pretty, that section is the worst. Yeah. No, I think, I think that was the worst. All that fuss was for that. Yeah, I think now that we're past that one icy section, which was still very icy, uh, I think it's all mud from here on. So we're good to go. It's mostly just dirt and snow. back to normal for wheel drive. Alright well our GoPro ran out of storage space. I gotta I gotta clean that up I guess. Uh, I took the chains off. They did get stuck in the lugs a little bit, so I had to kind of pull forward and then yank them out of the lugs. Now we're just back to dirt roads and we're descending the hill with no problems. I probably didn't need the chains today, but when we went for a walk yesterday, it was colder and the road was really like slippery, slippery, hard ice, not slushy ice. It's warmed up today and uh, let's see, it's 12.30 now and the bit of ice that we drove over that was really slippery, it was actually soft enough that, you know, the, the chain just sank into it and gave us plenty of traction. I didn't slip at all. Better safe than sorry. We're heading in the torque lift today for a factory tour. And we want to take you along with us. 
because I hurt my back and I needed to kind of take a break from the climbing and moving and lifting and all the chores involved with truck camping. We spent about a week near Eugene, Oregon and we're desperately trying to make our way south, but we've just had a lot of delays. We had doctor's appointments, I hurt my back, we were waiting for packages, just how it goes. So we're about, oh, a month behind schedule. What is the date? It's 19th, I think. Yeah, so it's December 19th today. We're heading from Eugene straight out to the coast because one of my lifelong dreams has been to drive the coastal route down through California along the entire west coast. We're going to drive along the coastal highway as much as possible until we get down to some warmer weather and hopefully some dry weather. It's been raining here for, what, two months? Yeah, uh, we've been pretty sick and tired of the humidity and rain. I mean, I love rain, but I feel like it's been a little too much of it. Everything stays wet, nothing dries. Um, there's potential like mold and mildew issue. We don't want to deal with it. We just want to have some nicer weather, so we're headed south. People are flashing their lights probably. It's a lot of water to flood, I think, Oregon. It's, it's getting, I'm seeing a lot of water on the road. I'm seeing farm fields underwater. I'm seeing people's driveways underwater. So we kind of had to take a little break from YouTube. I'm having a hard time sitting at the computer to edit. And driving right now is also still a little bit painful. So I kind of have to just do a little bit here and there. This is something I've always wanted to do. And I'd rather be able to focus on the travel piece rather than trying to constantly work on videos. It's one of the main reasons we stopped posting for a couple weeks, but now we're back and we'll continue sharing our journeys with you. We're almost to the coast. All right, now I'm really excited. We just made it to Route 101, which is kind of the north-south highway along the coast. It changes names. I think down in California, you have Route 1A, you have Route 1 and Route 101. But this intersection right here officially starts our coastal drive down the western coast. Woohoo! That's exciting! It's a cool bridge. Mm -hmm. I like it. it. Looks like 1940s style. Yeah, it looks pretty old. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright It's the Pacific Ocean. Is it very Pacific? It's very Pacific. Who wants to go that way? Okay, let me come get you.
Today was a little bit of a, I don't want to say a loss, but it was mostly just driving in the rain. It literally rained for the last four hours, pretty much nonstop. We got diesel fuel and propane and drove through the rain. We got some food, yeah. But right now, we, we just hit the actual coastline. This is the first time we've seen the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, in... Since, like, March? Since you were in California? Yeah, actually, yeah. The truck's are rocking. Yeah. Um, we went to Seattle, but we didn't see the ocean. We saw the bay. No, yeah. So, yeah, this is our first time seeing the Pacific Ocean since last, well, last spring. Yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, we came up over a hill, and the road's been inland for a while, and now it's going to run along the coast, I guess, or at least yeah. for a little while. And we're about 13 minutes away from our, our boondock spot. Today is our first day on the road and it's nice, except it was mostly chores. And now it's time to go find our boondock spot. We're finding that a lot of the places that are on Ioverlander are now closed. And we saw a bunch of like stumps and trees put across where people used to go boondock. And there seems to be a pretty strong push on the West Coast to stop public camping. Yeah. Or camping on public lands, free camping, that kind of stuff. Which I can see why, I can yeah. see why. It's, it's inconvenient for us, but we can see why it's happening. Yep. It's frustrating when people destroy these places, they leave their trash, and then it ruins it for everyone else. We're going to go camp and make some food and probably go to bed because I'm tired. And Me too. We'll start tomorrow fresh, get some miles on. We should be entering California tomorrow. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah, we're only uh, like an hour from the California border. We just couldn't make it today. We should get diesel before <laughs> we cross the border. I will fill up before we go into California. It's going to be expensive. Yeah. So this has, this place has water and dump and propane, but not, no places to stay really. Oh, no, actually, I'm sorry. There is a $20 honesty box and it's like free parking, but you kind of have to leave a tip. So not really free. Yeah, uh, it's pretty. Look at that. Uh, well, yeah, this is definitely the first spot like where we're able to really see the ocean. I'm hoping we'll get more and more of this as we drive. I really hope the wind dies down a little bit. All right, so it's 5.30. We are on the Oregon coast. We're parked right next to the ocean, which I can't really show you because it's too dark out. It got dark really fast. I guess that's probably because it's cloudy and it's winter. Anyways, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna pack it in for the night. We're both tired. Sasha has to work early in the morning. She's got a lesson and uh, we found a spot that has decent cell phone service. So we're gonna just stay here and kind of get up tomorrow and carry on with our adventures. All right, so we're parked. We just ate dinner and uh, I got the camper pretty pretty well in line with the wind and we put the legs down, but wow, it's it's getting pretty bad. It's really windy. We can hear and feel all the shakes. We're also parked right next to the highway, which really isn't my favorite, but not a lot of boondocking around here at all. Mostly just pull-offs on the highway. Hold on, you can see your line. I, I'm choosing not to. Beer fuel. It's a cider. Whatever, say it anyway. Cider fuel. Cider fuel? Is that like beer fuel? Mm -hmm. Beer fuel. And some fuel. Beer. Beer. This is um, I guess a local cider. Excelsior. Yeah, Imperial made, Apple. Made in the Pacific Northwest. Wow, 8.5 percent. Yep. Wow. It's a new style. <clears throat> I think it's perfect. <laughs> it was pretty messed up. That's probably the worst I've ever really? seen. <laughs> well, I didn't call this morning. I put a hat on. I've had a hat on and off all day. You look like an elk. 